All right, so what the heck is Z-Wave? Uh, Z-Wave is a wireless communication protocol that's now being used for smart homes. Now, the way that I like to really break down Z-Wave is I want you to think of Bluetooth. It's gonna be very similar to that. And the reason that I use Bluetooth is people are more familiar with that. People have set up a Bluetooth speaker before or some Bluetooth device. And if you haven't, how it works is you're gonna tell your phone or another device that you wanna talk with the speaker device or some device, and you guys are gonna communicate on the same channel. You guys are gonna be talking with each other. And from there, you'd be able to control your speaker. Now where Z-Wave comes in is Z-Wave can connect to multiple devices. It actually can connect to 232 devices. And what makes a difference is these devices, so for instance, if you connected a thermostat, a lock, a light switch, a light bulb, they'd all actually be able to communicate with each other. Um, so that's one of the key differences there. It also uses less energy. Um, so it won't be affecting your battery as much, whereas if you connect something with smart home, for instance, with Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, it's going to use more energy. And it also has um, a longer connectivity. Um, so Bluetooth, you have to be close. Wi-Fi, you have to be close. But with Z-Wave, it's much, much longer and wider. And how these smart homes are working is all of these devices are going to be talking with each other on this Z-Wave network. So it's going to be separate from the Wi-Fi or any other um, or any other waves that you might have in your house, and they're going to be talking on that channel. And the good thing with it is you actually don't even need Wi-Fi um, for it to work. They can all communicate on their own channel. Um, so that's that's my breakdown of what Z-Wave is.